Hello everybody, today we have a very special and interesting interview with Akin, who is a professional dropshipper in AutoDS. How are you today, Akin? I'm all right, yeah. How are you doing today? Are you okay? I'm great. Thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. I'm sure that you will give uh, inspiration and valuable information for people. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. I'm so really proud of it. Thank you. So, um, first I would like to ask you, how did you start dropshipping? If you can tell us a little bit about yourself, where are you from? How did you hear about it? Yeah, sure, sure. This is absolutely fantastic. It's, my name is Akin. I'm 31 years old, so I'm from Turkey, but living in a couple of different countries, and now I'm living in London more than six, seven years. And uh, how I started dropshipping, be honest, when I started dropshipping, I didn't know I was doing dropshipping because I had a couple store and then I was selling stuff. And I also selling this stuff for eBay and Amazon as well. And I have one day issue because customer asking me nonstop different model, which I don't have because I need to buy them. So I started to I talk with my supplier and then he said, you know, you can list your product from your eBay store and when you need, we can ship for you. And when I recognize, yeah, this is really great idea because I don't have to buy. And then when I, someone buy from my website, I can ship them because my supplier let me to do this one. So I start with my mistake and then uh, Step by step, I started to be focused on this business because when I buy stuff, I need to invest my money and also time. And also, you know, it can be sell, it can be sell. You know, it was risky a little bit and it was quite new business model. So, and I saw there is some star, like a, there is golden nugget. So I tried to focus them since like around five, six years, I think. I, I do this business and I'm so happy today where I come and after this pandemic and then this so much grow my business and I'm yeah I'm really proud of myself and I, I don't so many things about this well yeah I start like this be honest by mistake <laughs> that's pretty cool basically I also started like this by the way and I just sold the phone that I saw that it's cheaper on other place and just listen on eBay and just sold yeah, that's correct. <laughs> it's a pretty cool start. Um, and uh, then did you take any course or something, or you just continued to learn by yourself? Well, to be honest, uh, I do always research about everything, what I'm doing. So when I start to be more focused this business model, because I also run different business models as well, and when I start to be learn more, I take maybe 1,000 courses, to be honest. I watch everyone, I watch everyone's strategy because we're doing the same things, but everyone know everyone know some different way how to be get more success because sometimes I don't see what people see and sometimes they don't see what I see. So I try to be match them and then I put my strategy as well how to be useful because when people teach something from the course or other stuff, they show them own way. But sometimes it doesn't work this way for me. So I try to figure out and I just try to put my inside my business and try to be useful information. information. And yeah, well, I'm still learning. I'm still taking course. I'm happy with that. I a little bit hungry to learn. And yeah, I do. <laughs> Never stop learning. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, how many stores do I have on eBay? Right, right now I, uh, I have three stores. And also, we have, we, I believe now, seven more stores which we work like profit uh, or profit. So they are not my online store, but we find items that just list for them. And then when they sell, we do like a 50 50. So around like, I believe like 10 uh, on the moment, three is mine, and uh, seven is not mine, but I work for them as well. So total 10. And this is, these stores are uh, niche stores, or you list general products? How do you work there? Well? i be honest, I try niche stores. It doesn't work for me, be honest. I try so many times niche store because which I see on the uh, system, I did some niche stuff on Shopify store. Yeah, it is working. But when you come to eBay, 
be honest, you find uh, some niche which is most like a home, a garden, which because I more focus the UK marketplace and I, I'm living in the UK. I know what people want and what people buy. So I just research and uh, this item, how I can sell more and uh, lower prices. And then when I find this item, I run all this item from all my store. So because anyway, they are not mine. So I can list and uh, also what I do, I figure out I list so many items usually for this uh, store. I use mostly a uh, book listing. So for example, when I start a list, I pick up 10 product from garden, 10 uh, item, let's say from pets, and I run all of store. And end of the day, let's say after a couple of weeks, I just watch them, how many items sold, which items sold, and how many watches they have. And then I focus more, I take it off all others, and I focus this niche. So I work like this, and it's really a good feedback I get for this one. It's work for me. I don't know what someone doesn't work, but for me, it's working perfectly. It's amazing. Um, and when you list uh, like different products, um, how do you list bulk one by one? Do you do any title optimization or are you just listing it in bulk? Yeah, this uh, great question, be honest. How I do in my uh, strategy, first of all, I list book. I'm just like a kind of fishing. So I just list book niche. And then when I find items selling very well, so I have more focus. I give more uh, my energy to this item. So I just type the eBay, be honest. Uh, my item and uh, I just check this couple let's say five item which is coming so which is the top one is coming I took this uh, keywords to on my listing so when I put my listing to this uh, first listing title and I just just last couple keywords like a uh, free shipping new UK something like similar I don't put like a copy paste and then I focus more inside, like a which kind of, which brand or other things. And then uh, be honest, uh, I focus more pricing as well. So when I sell like a, let's say 10 item, and then I start to put repricing, little bit top up, top up, top up, top up. And however, everybody is still buying from uh, our product, be honest. We still have like a five pound, 10 pound profit but still they keep going to buy our stuff because when people come to eBay, they saw these items exactly they are same. We changed, the, of course, the picture as well, but they are same item, even same supplier. But when people see like, let's say one is 30 pound and others 40 pound, but people look and they say they thinking like this, I believe uh, this is, 20 times people buy. I think this is the good supplier. I, I'm going to buy, I'm going to pay 10 pounds more, but I will buy for this item. And then uh, I figure out this one. So more profit and uh, same product, but I focus the more after sell, but not before sell, optimizing. So after the sell, you're optimizing it. Yeah, yeah. when I figure out how many people watch or uh, people... This item take people attention. I start to focus my item, so I work like this. That's cool. Um, I'm also believe in this that you don't need to spend time on things that are not working. Yeah, exactly. And uh, in average, how many products do you have per store? Well, let's say this all different. Be honest. Uh, I mostly now on the moment working, which is not my store. They are starting new around thousand item, but in my store, like I believe, like going to uh, which I figure out. Be honest now on the moment on my store, like thousand between thousand five hundred. But what I figure out, I have only one store which is the, my main store, which I work with Walsa uh, supplier. I had just uh, 106 items. And then I uh, did like a daily between 2,000, uh, let's say between 3,000 pound per day sales. So which I figure, be honest, doesn't make sense. Of course there is some, but uh, even I, I have one store, 
inside like 150 items and I earn more than all of them. So need to be honest to focus what you want to sell. If you find this correct product and they selling like thousand times, even you list one, this item selling thousand times, but you list thousand items and selling one time. So I focus much more to high volume product. Uh, so yeah, this is which my opinion. And this you find just by a bulk uploading and then from there you find the right products? Yeah, some, yes, some not. Because sometimes uh, I can't give my, all my time to research the item. There is a couple of software which you can uh, search. Uh, because which uh, my strategy, what I do, I have a list and a good seller. I keep them. I regularly check them what they're selling, how they're selling, and then how is going them store and uh, what product work for them store. So I work like, uh, let's say, 30%, I follow the sellers. And 30%, which I keep on my book, and 30%, I research on my store. Like 30, 35% is taking time, but like I do like three parts. One, one part for sellers, other part book, which I uh, figure out after that, because I saw people selling well, as so many people want to buy, I focus this item, and other part, I focus most like I research on my warehouse or a wholesale supplier. I try to play like a big profit item, like high ticket item. So I work like three different business, all of different store. But you mean in different stores, you do the different business or you do all in one store? No, no. All of them, for example, if they start new, I start to focus with follow up the sellers. Because when you put wall size, not, uh, it can be risky a little bit, in my opinion. Because sometimes happening because. So on my store, I focus more wall size. And then other, like there is a couple new, they're quite old. So I can figure out, you know, things. So I do for them book. So I work like this, you know, depends how old this eBay store and how I have feedback, like history of selling all others. So I do like this. Nice. And from which suppliers mostly you start, except the wholesale? Well, in the wholesale, in the UK marketplace, there is thousand, thousand top layer. There is e-commerce search in the UK marketplace. They do international. Also, they have in UK marketplace, they have warehouse. And then I mostly work for them. And also, uh, I figure out it's really is quite uh, nice if you hear before like a CJ dropshipping. Mm -hmm. It is really is fantastic because which I work for them. I find item in the AliExpress, and then most people have a problem about like after quarantine or after all things like taking thirty between fifty days. So uh, when you find the item from AliExpress selling very well. I just sent uh, this link to, for CJ dropshipping and I said to them, can you give me this price, which is AliExpress selling 10 pounds, but I said to them, I don't want to pay 10 pounds, I will pay, for example, 5 pounds this item and I'm going to buy one. And they say, yes, okay, that's absolutely fine. And then when I list this item, it's selling very well, be honest, and they sent between eight days, not working day, eight days, most of the day coming to eight days inside the UK. So it's quite good. And I don't know how they do. They work their own uh, delivery method, which is they call CJ drop, CJ package. And uh, it's quite cheap, quite fast. And so I figure out like this. And there is a couple more in UK market, which I work with them. Uh, this is quite nice, to be honest. So I keep for myself on my store like this uh, supplier. And for tracking number, which tracking number they uh, provide you? Well, how I figure out this one, when people do CJ dropshipping, CJ dropshipping, they have CJ packet, which uh, you can follow track 17, but uh, you can't put on eBay system. So what you can do, uh, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, you can uh, convert with Blue Car Express, which is track 17. So people can follow, or if, however, people asking you, sometimes happen to me, and you can't 
put on system. So I just text the email to on my customer. I said, you can look, there is website, track 17. And then if I can't convert the bullet carrier express because it doesn't accept. So I said, you can follow here. And I always send them screenshot, which is how is the position. I give them trust. And I say, look, it's, as soon as possible, it's, you will get received. And however, if you have some question, because I work uh, very well for customer service. Also, uh, which you have in the Autodesk website, there is, uh, I believe, 42 uh, customer support feedback, something like this. Should, I don't know how to call, but this is just a main question and answer. This is perfect work for my store. And when customer asks some question about this niche, when I just copy paste, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent is working very well. Even customer, how many times I say to me, "They sorry, I'm so sorry." It's thanks so much for this one year. That's insane, and uh, and it, it doesn't affect your eBay rating. This that you don't provide tracking number that is covered by eBay. Yes, yeah, some, yes, some, of course, but uh, which I said, which I'm working on my store, I do accept this one. And also, I work with the Amazon as well, uh, which I try to keep, uh, how to say, for traffic and tracking number and also my eBay store rate. So how I do, I put like a small profit, like a high selling item. Always, I just put in the middle, like a take traffic, and also I try to keep like a higher as how much I as can because this product, uh, this supplier doesn't always give, uh, which my working, this working with Hermes. So I'm happy with this. Hermes always helped me. But a couple of them doesn't support, which I said to you. So I figured out like this. Yes, some years going down, but I'm happy for with profits and I'm try, still okay, all of them. So there is no issue on the moment. I hope not going to be so tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. All your stores are uh, based in the uh, UK, in the UK? Yeah, all of them in the UK. We have uh, so many students, beyond be honest, they start to be work for uh, United, King, United States. They do very well, be honest. But be honest, uh, I worked like a years in the UK market and I knew this is like a a secret nugget and also be honest you can a lot to sell even uk uh, and also ebay com as well uh, so when you list the item with global shipping program and uh, if you go to ebay com you can list item from the ebay uk store so even you can sell be honest if you have uk market in, inside account in ebay you can sell ebay com as well ebay french ebay I sell like most the global shipping program and uh, it's be honest, really working for me very well. It's increased my sales like a 30 or 40 percent. It's insane. Yeah. How, how was the COVID-19 with the... Uh, wow. <laughs> this uh, whole my life I saw like this sale, be honest. Like I do, I did really very well, but I wasn't think like uh, when this uh, pandemic starting and uh, when I saw my phone uh, like a non-stop maybe every 10 minutes is coming to paper paper like a uh, notification and my phone like and I be honest what I done the one store it was going crazy because not all of them but one store I just a couple uh, hours I put the holiday I think something going wrong because people not stand sending me money from paper and then I figure out people not stop buying one item which they get bored like it was simple just a puzzle and they buying like a crazy puzzle and it's like a it was profit margin around like 60 65 percent which is like a huge money for oh. because you know we do like most 30 percent it was like a double in more than double and uh, i'm so happy with that and now starting me going slowly slowly down but uh, it's still okay it's still okay <laughs> yeah insane yeah <laughs> <laughs> how do you find initially the products for the bulk upload before you do the first upload how do you use do you use any tools or just everything manually yeah that's a great question to be honest but, but 
what I do uh, before I was still I do I focus uh, mostly uh, I have behind this really good uh, seller so I check them what they're doing so I follow them they want my strategy and after I focus I use uh, Zik Analytic uh, I research and also what I do uh, I'm not sure maybe here or not but I also Amazon seller as well so when I try to sell Amazon item, I really focus what people selling because think like this: we trying to sell from Amazon to eBay, let's say, but uh, I try to find the Amazon behind who is selling, so kind of Alibaba or something. So I use Halimten, and I figure out how many times this product sell on Amazon. So when I find this item, which is the golden item, I say, hmm, this item selling Amazon per day. 50 times. So why not in eBay? Because I find this item, five pounds, selling 10 pounds to Amazon, selling 15 pounds to eBay. So I have already know the five pounds, this is mine. So I separate them like as well as Shopify as well. Uh, so I figure out like this, be honest, uh, because why I need to drop uh, 10 pounds from Amazon, which I know I can buy from the five pounds from this item. Uh, and then sell the eBay and I can keep this between profit and I don't need to pay for Amazon this because Amazon seller is we selling same stuff on eBay which I see uh, I figure out like this but some I do specially uh, less profit I keep just for my store uh, keeping healthy for like a tracking number fast delivery and also just for feedback now I'm not focused for money still I earn money small but uh, I focus for keep my old store like a uh, balance is very well. You know, you need to be provide everything okay, everything like good feedback and a good race, a top seller rate. So I just keep for Amazon a couple small supplier for this reason. Nice. Um, so that's how you find uh, thousands of products into your stores. Yeah, mostly I do. Be honest, you have so good uh, extension which I use mostly uh, because if, be honest, I don't have time to do everything. And I have, we have like a eight VA now, so they work as well. But uh, I more focus the most profitable items. So I don't have time to do everything. So what I do, I use a couple of software, also AutoDS as well. So when I go to niche, uh, I go under category and then I find just... Uh, product like there is 100 product let's say and there is auto ts extension you just one click and then book upload and couple store i do like this and then others i have in uh, inside auto ds you have auto finder which uh, find for you which you already done for us so i don't need to spend my time your software do everything be honest so when you go inside the auto ds finder you can choose per month three times sell. You can choose per month five times sell or eight times sell. Also with coupon, coupon. So it's so important for if you use top cashback or be fraud, you get money, money back, and then you can increase your profit. Then you can still have same profit. And then when I list, for example, let's say, uh, uh, find for me this month sell eight times fifty item. And then schedule for tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and then tomorrow. When my credit finish, and then buy again, and then do everything. So I run all different store, different software, and then I try which the best work for me. And then today I figure out which Autodesk and couple uh, supplier software is working absolutely together, in my opinion. <laughs> nice. Um, do you work with more suppliers in Autodesk except Amazon? Of course, of course. Well, be honest, I, in my favorite, I can't call favorite, but this is really good to Banggood. Uh, Banggood is really have good for drop shipping because you, as you know, a drop shipping center inside, they support so many things for you and you can get a little lower price and also a couple more things. And then uh, I do Banggood as well. And also I have a couple more. I, be honest, I, didn't uh, focus so much China brands. 
I, I'm still curious about it. I checked so many times, but I did, I list maybe a couple items, but I didn't focus. I didn't give my time to so much to research about China brands. Uh, but I do have some couple Chinese supplier as well, but not for Chinese brand. But I use Banggood and Amazon Behonus in the outer days. That's good. Very cool. If you would start from scratch, now you start dropshipping, what would you say to a beginner dropshipper? How to start, what to focus on? Right, this is absolutely a great question because what I can say, when I started new, even I didn't know what I was doing. I couldn't call even dropshipping. I did dropshipping, but I didn't know. And then when you start new, you're going to have so many problems behind us. You will maybe you're gonna get suspended. You're gonna uh, you couldn't find the right strategy, and you can't sell product, and you're gonna get citrus, and then so many things around you. But when you start to research on even YouTube, or you can buy course, whatever. Uh, if you trust people, you can follow them, and they will show you everything. And also, there is so many YouTube channel which is like an auto DS, that kind of I can't. Uh, called thousand and just watch them they teach you everything you don't have to just invest your time and believe yourself and end of the day you will get hundred 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 percent result if you believe what you're doing and when you figure out you can sell you want to sell more and then more and then more and then you will figure out when i was doing this business i was working now i'm i can work on my home i can do whatever i want uh, I time is mine. If I want to do something, I can do. I can buy. I'm so happy with that. So this is give me freedom, and then now giving more people the freedom. So if I can do, or if you can do, everyone can do. I believe. So just need to believe and just go forward. You know, which I can say this one. <laughs> so I mean, uh, if you believe in it and you focus on it. Finally, you will succeed after you really learn it and do everything right. I can say on the one more things about this one. You have to follow the right person, which I believe I follow out to this like uh, since they open. I believe, yeah. And then you guys doing amazing. You guys sharing all, even people don't share even them on course with money. And you sharing, I, when you just go to inside the Autodesk YouTube channel, they showing everything A to Z. And then you share all your experience, all your mistake, how to figure out how they have to do. And there is a couple more which I really recommend people to follow them and get uh, knowledge. Important to, because I, when you write in the, uh, eBay or YouTube, the dropshipping or Shopify, you're going to receive thousand, thousand YouTube video, which some people just try to show uh, how they're doing, but you basically showing everything like a correct there. So they need to follow correct person and uh, plus believe, I can say like this. Thank you for, uh, for the feedback. Uh, yeah. Your YouTube channel is also very impressive. I took a look there and it's very good at the channel, so people can also sh uh, follow you. I will share the link below this video. Um, and anything that you're doing a great job there. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about uh, Shopify? Do you have any stores there that you want to talk about? or uh, yes. yes, sure. In Shopify, uh, it's my shop is quite, I believe like a one years now, around something one years, but now I, my Amazon business taking my so much time. So what I was doing on Shopify, Shopify, I was find item and then when people find this item, they can uh, list them on eBay store. And then I can provide them to ship this from the, our warehouse to them customer address. So they can provide them our uh, postcode, which means they have them for eBay. You know, when you ship thousand supplier and then they figure out after one month later, they say to them, you know what? Uh, we find you sending everywhere different locations. So you're doing dropshipping. So 
uh, we can give you some suspense. So what I try to understand, so I figure out if they can buy from my own my store and then same place, which I really find like a so cheap and high ticket product, and they can uh, drop ship this item when someone sold this item, they can buy from our Shopify store, then we can ship the same address to, for them customer address. And so this Shopify store work for me like this, not like a niche store or I find the other express the high ticket and give Facebook ads or kind of different things. I don't do this one because I already have customers. So I don't need to be run ads or other kind of things. But uh, be honest, if you understand how Facebook run, Facebook ads or Google ads run, also you can find famous people if you have enough money, like a kind of, uh, you can start budget like a hundred pound maybe. So they can, if you have niche, for example, spore niche or cosmetic niche, it's really working very well. So just find this item, ask them nicely. And this is important. You need to ask them when you, uh, they're going to share your item. You need to see how many people view them story. This is hundred percent so right. Because I have an eBay store as well. Like, following like 60,000 people. But when I share something, uh, like let's say people see like a, around 6,000 between 10,000. It is not like a so organic people like following. So if you know, people can uh, see like a 6,000, 100,000 people following and they pay for their money. But end of the day, so they won't receive so many people. They need to focus how many people view them story, also picture as a photo, and they can start like this. And when they earn money, they can start with Facebook and Google Ads. It's going to be amazing for them, my opinion. Nice. It's uh, impressive. Thank you for uh, sharing from your knowledge. It's really helpful to people. Um, I think that uh, you gave a lot of information and inspiration to people. And do you want to tell some, to say something uh, finally to people um, that want to start or existing dropshippers, something that you want to share, um, and then we will uh, finish. Yeah, sure, absolutely fantastic. And first of all, thank you so much for all your helping for everyone uh, with AutoDS. I'm really uh, so happy some people work for it and then make it success, which is you are. And thank you so much for your channel or everything what you've done. But I really want to say for everyone, even old or even new, if you believe you will get success, just follow correct people. And then end of the day, if they uh, get success, you will get success. So only one thing I can say them, just believe and do it. Just do it. If you want to start eBay dropshipping, just after this video, open eBay account and open eBay. Don't wait tomorrow. Just do it now and then get result tomorrow, which I can say. And then, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for everything, Dior. I can say only one thing, just believe and do it. Thank you very much, Akin. It's pretty uh, inspirational. Uh, thank you very much for that and I hope that everyone enjoyed this interview. Don't forget to like this, this video, share it with other people, comment down for, me, for any question that you have to me and I will go and personally answer any of your questions. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and also subscribe to Akin's YouTube channel that I will add the link below this video. Thanks for watching and thank you Akin for being here today. You are welcome. Thank you so much, Leo. Bye-bye.